this is a project that started uh, back in 2004. My AP biology class um, wanted, I wanted them to do some kind of environmental project that would be more out of the classroom and more in the actual setting. We did a survey trip, so to speak, just to see what was out here, and they were excited. So upon our return, they told me, we have to do something more active. Definitely, let's build bird boxes. Let's tell people what a great place it is to go canoeing and to enjoy the wildlife. It has become a part of the AP biology curriculum. It's an extension to the environmental science portion of our curriculum. So Gabby from the Meadowlands Commission said, would your students be interested in being a part of a program that we want to get bird boxes out in the Kearney Marsh and we want to try to revitalize it the same way other towns have done with their sections of uh, the Meadowlands? And I said, sure. I've been working with Belkies maybe 10 to 12 years now. She was very excited when we developed our partnership because uh, she knew that we were out here doing field work and she was looking for something different for them that could sort of bring this textbook to life. So what we did is we came up with this program where the students would come out here and enhance our marsh habitat for some of the animals that are here. Uh, we do anything from cleanups to our marsh enhancement, our habitat enhancement. We build the nest boxes, we place them out here, and they even go as far as developing a canoe trail because then, you know, you want people to see the work that you've done. One of the things that the high school is helping us do, it's our birdhouse project. What these really are are nest boxes. In this instance, we are building nest boxes for tree swallows. Uh, tree swallow is a small bird, it's about five inches, it's got an iridescent blue back and a white belly, just a beautiful looking bird. And they look for something that's different than what other birds look for. Um, they don't build a nest in a tree, but they more look for a cavity in a tree that's either been dug out by um, squirrels or raccoons or um, a woodpecker. The problem is, is that in prior years, development, loss of trees, loss of old trees have caused a decline in the population of tree swallows. So what we've done is we've added these boxes out in the fields and our tree swallows have come back and it just seems that the more of these nest boxes we put out, the more tree swallows we have. It's more hands-on, definitely. Um, they've brought bottles to uh, take samples of different areas, samples of water back to, um, to the building. And we're going to check for little critters and microbes inside uh, the water and uh, check out the water quality as well. So it's hands-on. It's not just reading it from books. It's not doing a lab where uh, we're in the lab setting. This is the lab right out here. I think it's definitely a very worthwhile project. It's definitely a, a different experience, one that some people don't get a chance to, to experience, and it's actually pretty fun. You know, you uh, out on the water, seeing some of the wildlife, some of the uh, the animals that are around. Today we came out here to uh, put up some bird boxes. They're going to be housing set up for these birds to uh, help control the mosquito population and to, to keep the birds around here also, give them a home to stay in. It, it teaches you to be more aware of what's around you, you know, it's not just uh, you. There's there's other stuff around you that's sometimes a little bigger than you are. I've always been very interested in science and learning because science is of course a study of knowledge and my favorite thing to do is learn. So I'm hoping with in the future I can do things with environmental sciences. Little projects like this all around the country will eventually raise the awareness of the federal government and hopefully they'll be able to see things on a global level not just on a community level. We need to start taking responsibility for our actions, and through science, we can realize and raise awareness of what we're doing to the world. With all the things going on in the world now, like global warming and all the pollution going on, if you're aware of the impact you're making on your environment, you're more likely to help out. And if children learn about it, I think they're more likely to make a difference. So it's important to have a program like this that makes you know, helping the environment fun and it joins, makes people join in and want to do it and it makes it an enjoyable experience because that's what it is, helping the world out and cleaning up your environment is an enjoyable thing to do. I'm Cleopatra. Oh, yeah.